I think the vendors are many townsfolk, aren't they? Now, what does a university town mean? Would you remark on the current relationship between town and town? The market in the centre of Cambridge is, as you say, mainly um, run by local shopkeepers, people selling fruit and vegetables and other things from around here. It's a very old market. This is a market town going back a thousand years, perhaps. And it is part of the relationship, the peculiar nature of Cambridge, which makes it rather different from Oxford. Oxford is a, a university within a big city, a huge city. And the university tends to be often not very, very visible within the city. In Cambridge, because it's a market town rather than the city, the university is much more closely integrated. Now obviously there have been long periods when there have been troubles between the undergraduates and the townspeople. Uh, until 30, 40 years ago all the undergraduates had to wear gowns when they walked around outside, uh, particularly at night. And so obviously some of the local people didn't like the privileges of the university and it, gangs of young people would attack and there would be fights and so on. Now most of Cambridge is filled with tourists, particularly from China, and as a result it's not very clear who the undergraduates are. They wear the same clothes as other people, so you can't really tell. But the relations between the city and the university are pretty good now, and have been ever since I've been here, so there's no tension. But one of the things that I like about it, it's rather like Berkeley in, in America, which is integrated with the town whereas Stanford is built on a separate campus. And I really prefer universities which are part of their environment.